Mick Gordon has joined us and he'll be working his magic on the soundtrack. Hey everybody, it's Mick Gordon here. I'm uh, sitting in my studio, jamming away on my drums. I'm incredibly excited to say I'm going to be working with both Chris and Nick on Beautiful Desolation. The world that these guys are building is just super, super inspiring. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to share some of the stuff that we're going to be working on over the coming months. But for the moment, I'm going to stay here and keep jamming away on some ideas. When we chose Africa as a location, it gave us an interesting aesthetic to work with. Some of Desolation's environments are based on our current world, so the real life locations give us an actual geographical base to work with. Those who are familiar with Cape Town may notice a few familiar landmarks scattered around the game. We're sticking to our strengths here. We're going to focus on a modern adventure game and our storytelling instead of a stat based game. Of course, Fallout offers great inspiration in reference to interface and flow. We've even looked at Star Control 2's storytelling and gameplay immersion techniques. Don't 2D graphics have a magic that 3D graphics just can't capture yet? Nostalgia aside, we found that our small team's pipeline can produce high quality 2D content at a speedy rate, something that may be more difficult for us to match if we move to 3D. Definitely Assassin's Creed Origins. A big influence on the art side and the living world there is something we're going to strive for in Desolation. Ori pushed 2D effects to another level and Horizon Zero Dawn, wow! It also put a unique natural look out there. The isometric art in Pillars is always our benchmark. Gameplay wise, Star Control 2 is top of the charts for us, so let's see how well we can bottle some of that magic. If you'll remember, Stasis thrived on claustrophobic spaces and eerie shadows, whereas Beautiful Desolation throws the lid off. With open environments and dramatic African lighting, we hope to break the linear structure associated with room-to-room -room games. At the same time, we've given attention to avoid too much backtracking, or at the very least, decrease the navigation time between areas that you visited before. We're introducing multiple and you could say diverse characters into the microcosm of the story. With Desolation, we also hope to modernize point and clicks, making it a bit easier to get into and remove some of the historic baggage that this type of play experience brings with it. Yes, narrative games are a personal favorite, so it would be a sad day to see them disappear from the AAA market. But as long as there are game designers who want to tell unique stories, there'll always be space for story-driven games.